My name is Howard Berry. I'm the father of the late Staff Sergeant Joshua Berry. My son died of wounds that were sustained during the first Fort Hood shooting. For those of you that don't remember, it took place on November 5, 2009. Nadal Hassan murdered 13 and he wounded 32. As 2016 approaches and we prepare to elect our next Commander-in-Chief, I'm reaching out to all the candidates that feel that they have what it takes to lead our country. I'm asking them some simple questions just in the perspective of a, a father of a dead veteran. Some stuff that's it's close to my heart and I'd like to know. And these questions are for Dr. Ben Carson. Dr. Carson, do you feel that the, the first Fort Hood shooting was handled appropriately, labeling it a random act of violence in the workplace, and later amending that to a, a case of violent homegrown extremism? Do you think that did justice to the men and women that were exposed to the violence on that day? I don't. I really don't. What are your thoughts on veteran suicide, sir? T currently 23 a day are, are completing suicide. My son joined that club on February the 13th of 2013. Josh died waiting for help that never came. And I don't understand. I thought we were better people than this. What are your thoughts on that? The 23 a day, is that number acceptable? Would, a, would the number 23 keep you up at night? or, or, or I know it does me. Uh, I'd like to know what your thoughts are, and I'm sure that an awful lot of other American families would like to know, too. What are your thoughts on the VA? Do you, do you think that the VA is a, is, is a broken agency that needs to be scrapped, or do you think that this is something that can be turned around, and at what cost? How many veterans are dying waiting for help? Missed appointments, lost paperwork, you know, pivot and point. Pivot in point. It's just incredible. Buried another soldier last Friday. And I don't understand. We're better people. I'd like to know what your thoughts are on this. These issues are very, very debatable. I think they need to be in the forefront, in the forefront of, of, of the, the discussions that are being, being put forth to establish the criteria for, for a, a, good, a good, solid president. I know there, it's on my wish list. I, I think that you need to bring this up. I'm looking forward to your responses. I really am. What do you think of the TBI and PTSD treatments that are going on currently? Do you think that they're adequate? The 23 a day shows that they're not. What are your thoughts on, uh, on the pecking order? Where do you think vets ought to stand uh, and those that are, that are needing help? You know, there's an awful lot of Americans that, that are hurting right now. And, and a lot of them are veterans. And I'd like to know your thoughts on, on where they should be in the pecking order. Should they, should they be up front? I believe that's where they belong. After all, these folks volunteer to defend our freedoms. They wrote a blank check. You know, and, and, and we're not doing them justice. We figured it out. It's cheaper to get a flag and a marker. We're not doing our job. I believe in supporting the troops. I believe in no soldier left behind. I don't think that we should negotiate with terrorists. These are all things that currently, you know, my experience, my son was left behind. We negotiate with terrorists, and we don't support the troops. What are your thoughts on that, sir? I wish you would bring it up. I wish this would come up in a, in, in a campaign debate because the American people really do need to know there's an awful lot of empty chairs and an awful lot of tables. Since 9-11, combat loss, suicide, training accidents. A lot of families are hurting and we will forever, we will forever miss our loved ones. I'd like to know what your thoughts are. Dead vets don't vote, but their families do, their friends do, other vets do. I believe that we deserve, we deserve to know where you stand on this, Mr. Carson. Please put it out there. I am so looking forward to a response. I reached out to your campaign as I have each of each of those that are running for <clears throat> for president, and, and, and I, I didn't get a response. Um, but that's okay because I don't get a response from anybody. I'm just one little old guy, one little old guy asking some questions. But there's a whole bunch of us. You multiply that times 23 a day. Multiply that time, times the combat loss. Multiply that times the, the vets that are that are sitting here scratching their heads wondering 
what happened? Our country's pretty much, you know, we're, we don't count anymore. I'd like to know what you think, sir. I'm looking forward to, to hearing a response. Uh, I, I, I really do. And uh, God bless. I, I miss my son.